welcome welcome and uh, hope you are following along so far and your rig should now look something like this and in, in this lecture we're going to uh, actually skin the model to the rig and make the the model actually follow the bones so yeah let's get into it so first we want to switch to object mode and what we can do here is we can actually create automatic vertex groups for the mesh. I should probably ex explain that. So just like we did for the gun, we are going to use vertex groups or create vertex groups that are going to be linked to the bones. And basically what vertex groups are is that it, ju it just tells Blender, okay, these vertices should be connected to this bone. So for example, if, if we want the upper arm to move with this bone, the upper arm bone, we would select these vertices and we would tell Blender, okay, these vertices should be connected to this bone, right? So what we can do is we can select the mesh or the model in object mode and then select the skeleton or the rig, sorry. <laughs> select that, hold down shift and then press Control p and just like we did for the gun we can choose with empty groups we could also use automatic weights but this this works better for like more kind of high poly uh, models that are more detailed and uh, it doesn't really work with this this kind of model that we have here because this is very precise we need to really define like okay this cube is connected to this one and so on so let's just uh, press Alt P, no, Control P, sorry, and choose with empty groups. And if we check here, we can actually see that it made, it has created uh, a vertex group for each of the bones that are set as deformed bones. And this is also why we didn't want the controller bones to be deformed bones, because then they would also uh, become a vertex groups. Uh, which we don't really need and we can actually start by removing the camera because the camera isn't rigged to the model so we can start by removing it so select the camera here in vertex groups and just remove it and we can also remove the root bone because it's it's it doesn't really uh, modify the the model itself it's only used for like the, the rig, so we can delete that as well. Then with the model selected, go to edit mode. And we can we can use the vert vertex uh, selection here. So make sure that uh, vertex select is enabled in the top left. And then we can press, we can just hover over the model and press L to select the whole piece or the whole the whole connected piece and okay so we want to link this part to the upper arm L which is this bone so choose assign and we want to link this part to upper uh, lower arm L which is this bone right here so press assign and then the hand bone, we want to link this part. So this, the hand mesh here. So let's select hand and assign. And uh, yeah, let's just repeat this process for the fingers as well. And for the fingers, it's easier if we switch to face select. So let's uh, use face select for the fingers. And press L. And this is index finger one left. So assign that. And just, yeah, keep repeating this process for each finger. It, it's a bit tedious, but yeah, it, it has to be done. It's just one of those parts that you can't really skip. So just select each part and assign them with the correct vertex group. So ring finger two is this one. Uh, 
and little finger and let's do the same for the thumb as well the thump so select that one and assign and that's the whole left side so we can we can test it we can make sure that it works before we move on to the right side so let's go to object mode select the rig and go to post mode by pressing control tab and let's check it out and as we can see it's it's uh, moving the model so the model is actually rotating now which is oh okay there's a problem here let's check that out I think the thumb is a bit off um, Oh, it's this one. Okay, so the second thumb bone, set it to, instead of local with parent, we need to set it to local space. Yeah. It should work now. There we go. And now we can actually see that the whole arm is actually moving with the rig. So if we move it like that, rotate it, it's moving perfectly with the rig. And we can try and rotate the fingers. It should be all good. Yep. All right. And let's just repeat this process for the right side as well. Because obviously we want to move the, the right side too. So let's go ahead and do that. Upper arm, sign, lower arm, and the hand. And I'm just going to speed up this process a bit. But yeah, just repeat the same steps as we did for the left side. And now we have uh, assigned each vertex group on the right side as well. So let's go ahead and try that. And um, yeah, it seems to be working just fine. Let's try the fingers too. Make sure the rotation works. Yep, yep. And uh, to, to reset the pose, if you're just, if you're like messing around with the pose and uh, you want it to be back to the T pose, you can uh, select all by pressing all, uh, A and then press W and choose, oh, and choose clear transforms at the bottom. And it's going to return to the default pose. All right, there's actually one more thing before we move on that we want to take care of first. And that is that we want to hide hide all the bones that are not controller bones. Because when we're animating later on, it's really annoying to have all these like little finger bones and like arm bones and you know, all these little extra things that we don't really need. And we can actually use different layers for this. So we can move move the bones that we don't need to be visible, we can move them to a different layer. So let's go ahead and select in post mode, let's go ahead and select uh, the bones that we don't want to be visible. So hold down shift and just uh, select these. And basically all the bones that we don't need to be visible, that, that's every bone that's not a controller bone, basically. So, so we want to remove the deformed bones. 
or not remove them. We want to hide them because we don't want to see them. So let's go ahead and select all of these. And also select the root bone because we most likely we won't be using the root bone at all, but it's it's a necessary bone to have, but we won't be using it at all, so we can just hide it. And with the bone selected, press M. And here we can choose which layer we want to move them to. And there's there's all these layers that we have available. Um, so we, we have many options, but I'm going to use this one. So the last one in the first first box. So press M and click on the layer you want to move it to. And now we can see that there's a, a dot here, which shows that, okay, there's, there's something on this layer, which is our deformed bones. So if we go to this layer, we can actually see them. Okay, these are the bones that we don't want to see in, in the current view. And these are the, the controller bones that we do want to see, which are on the first layer. And we can also turn off the in front because we don't really need them to be in front of the model at all times. It could get a bit annoying. So go to the object data properties and viewport display uh, in post mode and then just turn off in front like that. And it looks much cleaner now. We can actually see the, the mesh itself. And let's just test it. And make sure that it works, that it, that it all rotates properly and makes sense. So when we press X, we want it to rotate like this. So if you press RX, it should rotate like this. And then Z should be like this. And Y should be this. And we can just test it by doing making some poses here. So let's go ahead and make some cool poses. Get <laughs> just test it a bit. That's a pretty cool pose. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it seems to be working fine. There's no um, there's no problems with the, the, the skinning. There's no uh, weird like artifacts or anything. So I think it's safe to say that we are finished with the rig and we are finished with the skinning. It looks fine. Everything seems to be working as expected. And uh, yeah. So let's just go ahead and reset the pose. So press A and W and choose clear transforms. And we now have our rigs all set up. All the constraints are working. It's, it's skinned to the model. <clears throat> and we even have the camera that we can animate. And yeah, all that's missing now is the gun and the gun rig which we are going to set up in the next lecture. So um, yeah, if, if your rig now looks like this, then congratulations, very good work because it is finished. And uh, yeah, we can move on to the next lecture where we, we are going to add the gun as well. So I'll see you there. <laughs>